Hello and welcome to Manor Wars. We're here at Pat's Games in Austin, Texas, and tonight the Mono Red deck returns to take on Golgari with their Queen Varaska. Who's going to win? Watch the episode and find out. To keep up to date with everything at night to the game table, all you have to do is click subscribe and then hit that tiny little notification button next to it so every time we upload a new video, YouTube will be sure to let you know. And while you're watching, don't forget, you can still win a booster box of your choice every month. All you have to do is share this video and then comment down below to let us know. You can pick anything that's in standard right now. Also, let us know what you think about the new format. And while you're taking care of that, I'm going to go check out the game. Hi, I'm Joel, and I'll be playing the Mono Red deck. Uh, it's a fast, aggressive deck that tries to kill the opponent as basically as quickly as possible, uh, featuring some of the new cards from Ravnica, the Runaway Steamkin, Experimental Frenzy, and Risk Factor. Hi, I'm Aaron, and today I'll be playing uh, Golgari Midrange. It's a grindy green-black deck that tries to run the opponent out of resources, uh, both cards in hand and uh, creatures in play. Some of the new cards from uh, Guilds of Ravnica that I'm playing are Assassin's Trophy, Vraska Golgari Queen, and Golgari Finekeeper. All right, let's see who goes first. Uh, I'm gonna go for Paper Tiger. Rock Lobster. All right. So I guess you'll be going first. Paper then. covers rock. I'll play first. All right, good luck. You too. All right, I'll keep. Yeah, I will as well. All right. Go ahead. Well, I'm not taking one from the Haste Goblin, so that's good. good. To play Forest and Zico. Yeah, this hand's a little slow for this deck, but it's got a nice curve to it, so I see some potential. Go ahead. Play a Swamp and a Merfolk Branch Walker. Sure thing. I'll put this in. All right, I like that. Go ahead. Because I'm going to add a Goblin Chain, a trigger, and then trigger on the Seedkin as well. Yep. Add a counter, and attack for two. Sure. I assume I'll be going to set the game. Yes, sir. Uh, go ahead. Play Forest and a J Light Ranger. Okay. Uh, two Explore Triggers. Yep. Put that in the graveyard. Okay. And. Seems like a good thing. I think I'll leave that one on top. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Counters, you get two counters. Right. I prefer not to have to pay for it with three mana, but Wizards Lightning to get a blocker out of the way. Sure. Trigger here. Uh -huh. Counter. Um, Shock on you for two. Stop, you're hurting me. Sure, sure. Attack for seven. Yep, I'll be at eight. All right, uh, post combat, I'm gonna remove three counters to add three red mana. I was afraid of that. Make another chain roll, trigger. Sure, I'll be trigger at here. seven. Add a counter back, and pass the turn. Ravenous Chupacabra, kill the Uncap okay. Machine Whirler. Sure. Pass turn. Right, I'm going to play this pre combat so I can get an extra counter here. Uh -huh. And then I will attack you for six. Uh -huh. I think I have to block so I'll just die, so I'll die. Right. But, uh, yeah, uh, take three. Yep, down to four. Pass the turn. I'm not sure if there's a legal card <laughs> in standard that would get me out of this, to be honest. Um, Maybe a second like, Assassin's Trophy would give you another yeah, turn. Yeah, a second Assassin's Trophy would give me one more turn, so then I can Assassin's Trophy the, the Kinling Phoenix. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I guess I'll play this tapped and pass. Does it hurt to add another attacker to the board? Because he's not playing white and doesn't have an instant speed wrath. Uh, that'll trigger this. This has haste and plus one plus zero because I have two uh, instants in the yard. So I'm just going to come at you with everybody. And I'll play this assassin's trophy and then I'll concede the game. Okay, I'll get the token, but yes. 
Uh, so for my sideboard, I'm going to bring in uh, a lot more removal. Um, and I've got a couple guard cards that gain life. So I have Wild Growth Walker. Um, I have eight explore creatures, and so this gives me three life whenever, whenever I explore. And then Death Horde Scavenger, which can gain life when, when it attacks. And then just some cheaper removal spells to deal with his early threats, uh, dead weight, um, and then maybe some sweepers like Golden Demise, Plague Mare, and then maybe a removal spell if he's bringing in more of the uh, Rekindling Phoenix, the Vraska's Contempt to exile it. All right, so I'm thinking about taking out uh, a couple copies of Risk Factor we have in this deck. Um, I don't think I can put on enough pressure that he's going to be in a bind uh, where both sides of this are going to be useful all the time, uh, despite what happened in game one. I don't think that's how it's always going to play out. Uh, but I do believe the Rekindling Phoenix is really good against him. Um, he will have uh, at least one copy of Rastus Contempt out of the board, but um, most of the other ways he has to deal with this require him to two for one itself, and I'm okay with that. Is it crazy to be taking out Assassin's Trophy? It just doesn't feel great in the matchup. Yeah, it feels like such a good card, but like it's, I, think, I think these are way more Yeah, they're impactful. way better, yeah. And then like having the sweepers, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see if we can make game two go like game one did. You too. This is a less powerful, but perhaps faster hand than I had in game one. Uh, so I tapped Overgrown Tomb to save my life. That's the turn, right? Run out of game two Lava Runner. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Hopefully we can pump him up sooner rather than later. Another tapped over on two, save a little bit of life, a little bit of life, faster. Yeah, like that kind of start for my opponent. So, uh, hasty uh -huh. goblin. Sure, sure. And attack. Uh -huh. Two. Yep, ET. Okay, and because I have another one, I'm going to play another D2 auto runner. Sure. Pass the turn. Sorry, but not sorry. Oh, I do not like that at all. Faster. All right, that is a quite the setback. Okay, a new key to log run and pass the turn. And game one, he was trying to block with creatures as the way to stun the damage, but that sweeper that changes the math quite a bit can't just commit everything to the board and move guys out of the way. This is okay. Let's do use a removal spell. I'm gonna play this and then tick down on the Q2 Lava Runner. Destroys it? Yeah. Right. And I'll pass it. Uh, in return, I will finish off Raska with the ship straight. Makes sense. Right. This is not going how I planned it, but do what we can do. Uh -huh. Check for one. Yep, you're 17. Pastor. You have one card in hand? Or? Yes, sir, one card in hand. Um, I think I do this just to accelerate myself a little bit. Okay. Uh, not accelerate, but. Basic land or a gate? Get a land. And then I'll play the forest. I'll pass it. Burn spell. So we gotta stay on plan A here. Take that out sure. and then attack for one. Uh -huh. I'll be at 16. Go ahead. That's not bad. I can play two spells this turn, hopefully. French Walker? Sure thing. Uh, we'll leave that on top. Firebrand. Uh -huh. I think I want to run a guy into the buzzsaw, so I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Sounds good. Alright, well. Playing the true light ranger. Uh, in response. Uh -huh. I'll activate and shoot it. Sure. For one damage. And then resolve the explorers. Uh -huh. uh, 
Pass the turn. Yeah, after that sweeper, I'd be definitely sputtering. I'm looking at Pebble Bloom, so I can really afford to do that. So I'm going to play Baraska, and I'm going to take up and sack the forest to gain okay. a life and draw a card. At this point, I'm probably too far behind to catch up in any meaningful way, but if I can draw an Experimental Frenzy, I think I might have a shot. That makes things hard. Yep, I'm going to keep digging for Experimental Frenzy until he kills us. That's the turn. In response, I'll shoot you for one. Sure. Go to 16. And seven land seems like a lot. I'll go ahead and sack this to the Nebraska. Okay. Draw a card, gain a life. Pass turn. Can't stop, won't stop. Go ahead. Is there a bane fire on the sideboard of that deck? Not that I'm aware of. Next turn, yeah, let's probably go that route. I'll go ahead. So, two more of the four last turns have taken six. Mm -hmm. No blocks. I find myself a ten. Uh, I think Experimental Frenzy could let me at least wipe the board on that side. Does this get get uh, Vraska to yeah, we'll ultimate take range? Yeah, up to ten, and then yeah, I'll get an emblem that whenever a creature deals damage. Okay, well, I think I can kill all of his creatures if I draw Experimental Frenzy and hit the cards I need. Go ahead. Nope. Yet another land. Good game. I'm sorry Good you flooded out. <laughs> it happens. And that's a game where I would have liked to have drawn Fight in the Fire, but I think it's a little too slow for what I'm trying to do here. He's like, I'm almost there. <laughs> All right, I will play first. Sounds good luck, sir. You too. Thank you. All right. So we get some early creatures and a couple of lands. Ooh. Decision. I was going to draw, so it would be a lot easier to keep. And if this was a wizard instead of a goblin, it would be a lot easier to keep too. Um, so I really tell like you keeping, have wizards lightning. Yeah, I really like land light hands in in mono red, but I think this is a little too light, despite some tempting one drops. Uh, I think I'm going to keep. Uh, I've got. The removal spells that I want. I don't really have a great clock, but um, hopefully the removal will be, will be enough to get me to some of my haymakers. Hmm. This game is a little bigger, a little fewer lands. Definitely gonna need a little help, but I think this will avoid the sweepers that we saw in game two a little better, so I'll keep this in stride. Faster. You know, one drop I like. It's like this tapped over ground to move the pass. Not runner. Sure. Faster. I think I can afford to take a turn off to play this. In response. Shock. Sure. It's dead. Explore. Time. Um, I'll attack for one. Sure, take one. I'll play 
take out the chain whirl and trigger and deal another one. Mm -hmm. 18. And pass the turn. Go to attacks. Sure. Attack for four. Four damage, I'll cast out the goblin chain roller. Mm, let's cast out. Take one? Yep. 17. Close combat, another chain roller. Sure. Trigger. Go to 16. Go. One card in hand? One card. Okay. Go to favorite new card in this deck, Experimental Frenzy. You so now I can't cast cards from my hand, but I can cast cards off the top of my deck. Uh -huh. And I can move the top of my deck. Um, I'll go ahead and play that guy. Sure. Take a look at this, just in case. Um, go to attacks. Uh -huh. Attack Raska with one and you with one. Sure. Go to 15. Pass turn. Yeah, this Experimental Frenzy could be a problem. that I won't be able to play until this is gone. And it's off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play Runway Steam Ken. Uh -huh. And look at the next card. All right, can't afford that, so I will not be playing it. Uh, pass the turn. Probably needs <laughs> another experimental route. Frenzy or the Kenyan Phoenix on top, maybe. Don't have to worry about a shock, because he can't play cards from hand. So I'll go ahead and play a G Light Ranger. You got it. Spore. Another chain that I'm sure. Oh, I think I'll put that in the graveyard. Explore. Put that in hand. Pass turn. Okay. Draw another card that is in uncastable. What we got here? Alright, I can play land off the top. As long as I hit another land, I can keep going. Uh, and I will pass the turn. I think I have to keep this back. This runaway steam kitten could deal a lot of damage. It could run away with the game. It could. Uh, pass turn. All right. All right. Let's start by shocking your Jade Light Ranger, adding a counter to the steam kitten. Uh -huh. um, next card. Um, I'm not playing this for three, but we'll go ahead and shoot you with the Blizzard's Lightning for three damage. Add sure. another counter. I'm at 12. The next card. Play another steam can. Huh. Trigger this guy. Yep. Uh, let's take a look at what's on top. Like that. Unfortunately, you can't cast it. Uh, I'll attack you for four. Unfortunately, I think I have to do this before Asuka's can attempt that. Okay. Adding the mana doesn't get me anywhere, but do it anyway. Get three right now. Sounds good. And he gets exiled, you gain two life. The mana burn is not a thing, unfortunately. Uh, pass the turn. guy because he can gain a bunch of life but let's see what we yeah, got. If I discarded that Jade Light Ranger that'd be right, pretty let's good. Cast this guy uh -huh. and a counter to Steam again. Sure. Next card. Play land for the turn. Uh -huh. Next card. Play a Q2 Lava Runner. Uh -huh. Counter. Uh, this has haste because I now have multiple pieces of sorceries. Next card we'll go ahead and play Pyromancer yep. shoot you for two. two. Trigger this. Check the next card. Um, I'm going to add three red mana. Uh -huh. Use two of it to cast this. Uh, uh, lightning strike on your guy. Sure. Trigger to add this here. Uh, still got a red mana floating. Uh -huh. I'll use that and this to shoot you. Yep. God, that card's Keep disgusting. <laughs> uh, and then we will stop on that front. But I will sure. attack, attack you with four of the guys six. who are alive. Yep. We'll go to three. Alright, pass the turn. Yeah. I'm not really sure what gets me out of this. I mean, a sweeper gets rid of everything but the steam can. I think you need a sweeper and a way to get like, rid of the frenzy. Yeah, the frenzy's the problem. Just not having a way to get rid of it for turn after turn's been a, been a problem. Yeah, you 
can see why I, I, I like this card a whole lot. Go ahead and put a dead weight on that. Okay. And then I'll minus. Nine. Nine. Not quite City's Not missing. quite, no. Uh, okay. My guys die. Um, fortunately, I'm probably just going to get burned down next turn, but we'll That's hope. That's what I'm hoping. Top of his deck is just lands. Go ahead. Alright, draw that card. Okay, let's play that. Let's play Phoenix. Uh -huh. This is bad. Alright, that is locked out. Um, stuff in my hand does not make it reasonable to get rid of the Experimental Frenzy yet, so I will pass the turn. Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, this does not block a Phoenix, but maybe he won't attack. <laughs> pass turn. Alright. Draw the card that I won't be able to play. Look at that. I could play second Experimental Frenzy to uh, look at the next card, but I'm going to try attacking first. Attack with four. Play this one with some more. Sorry. Good games. This game was pretty rough. So we got flooded out a bit, uh, and my opponent resolved an experimental frenzy, and that just took over the game. I didn't have an answer to it. Um, I think, in hindsight, maybe I should have left in more Assassin's Trophies as a way to deal with experimental frenzy. I can cut them because they're a little awkward. The double colored mana is kind of tough. And since he can flood the board with a bunch of one drops, having two drops is not, like, two drop removal spells is not the best. I wanted something a little lower to the ground with the dead weights. But man, that experimental frenzy, like, I just could not come back from that as soon as he untapped it. So, pretty much what happened. I mean, I could deal with his creatures um, the first couple waves with the Golden Demise, but then it was just a non stop stream of action, so it happens. So, uh, in game three, you get to see the combination of experimental frenzy and the runaway steamkin together. Um, it can be pretty, pretty effective. Uh, the ability to keep adding counters to the steam can and then produce more mana to then keep playing cards off the top of your deck is is very effective. Um, I got to do what the red deck likes to do, uh, dump its hand and then keep playing off the top of the deck, but in this case I get to keep playing off the top of the deck and keep playing off the top of the deck and keep playing off the top of the deck, which makes it even that much more fun. Well, there you have it. The power of Experimental Frenzy propelled the red deck to victory once more. What's it going to take to take that deck down? Let us know down in the comments what you think would be a good matchup against it. And we'll see you next time on Manor Wars.